Yeah, I felt a little out of place. We moved to Alabama, so I'm used to out here in the desert and show up in the in the swamps and have no idea what's going on. I have some of the friends that are military kids also, and they move a lot, and so they always get good friends, and then they have to leave them. It's really sad. The buckle is a story about a young fellow named Tyler who loses his father in, Af in Afghanistan. His mother has to move him back to Arizona where she and her husband had grown up. Tyler, at that point, has to really work hard to develop a new way of life. So Tyler's over in Douglas and used to being in a big city. He kind of feels out of place, doesn't really know what's going on. And then a guy comes along named Clay and kind of takes him under his wing. And... He meets new friends and he gets associated with a really good ranch and he ends up getting into a really good life. When I read this book I was fascinated with the way the storyline went. Um, uh, it was intriguing to watch this young man Tyler what he had to go through in his life uh, as far as what he lost and what he was going to gain. Um, we think uh, taking this book and we turned it into a screenplay that it's going to excite the viewer and uh, it's going to bring you along. My goal here is hoping to put together John's words onto film and making him see that come to life. And I'm hoping that that I, we can appeal to the audience and and allow the audience to understand what Tyler is going through and that's his grief and his confusion. This has been something that's been a part of my life all for a long time. Doing, writing the book and then being involved as a youngster in, in this type of life. <clears throat> I. Uh, I'm getting up in age and I think it would be a good idea for me to get involved in something that I might leave behind. Needless to say, I'm not buying very many green bananas anymore. I mean, we, we've actually worked on films before, so we have the experience there. Um, we've actually worked on a film that was a million dollar budget, so it's not like we're rank amateurs. There you have it, Senator. This plan, if done in secrecy, that will split the South and open up the Mississippi. But there's a great difficulty. Not one single military man among us, not one single Navy man came up with this plan. It is the work of a civilian. Well, now, if that's your only concern, Mr. President, why not enlist the man? Certainly, he's earned himself a full commission with this. This is one hell of a plan. I don't care if it's civilian or not. I think it'll work. To hell with military intelligence. However, not only is it the work of a civilian, it is the work of a woman. <laughs> You're serious? I'll be damned. Uh, so uh, we decided to go ahead and uh, step out and bring people who normally don't have an opportunity or a chance at uh, getting into film, that opportunity, we want to give that out. So now there's a way that you can get into, um, you know, being part of making a film. Indiegogo is one method, a vehicle that we can uh, utilize to hopefully develop this kind of funding. And it will give other people a chance to get involved with us and become a part of the movie making process. Not something that's cranked out. It's not a comic book. It's not a sequel. It's original. So, uh, obviously, John, being a long, lifelong rancher, has a lot of experience with that. And Joe and I, being city slickers, uh, we can relate to Tyler. So I think it's a really engaging story. And as John said, he sort of he wrote the novel to cater to a younger audience. And I, and I think that's important. I, I think there's a lot of, for a lot of movies out there right now that are, there's a lot of explosions and there's a lot of 
nudity and sex and violence and, and, and all this stuff, this is a movie that goes away from that. And we're asking you, the viewer, to, or you, the viewer, to, to, to donate to our cause and, and you'll see our list of perks on, our, on the page. And because uh, that's ultimately what we're here for. We're trying to raise funds for this. If you want to be part of the production team, contact Jason John or myself and let's talk. Depending on the amount of donation we can get, why not be part of the film? Come on to the production team, learn how a movie is shot, be part of making the movie, making the film. I wonder if they can hear the birds. Hello? Hello. First. Okay. Can you? Am I still involved? I see your shoulder, but I <clears throat> in your arm. I. I <laughs> <laughs> and I go. I'm Garrett Green. I'm 16 years old. Yeah. I screwed up on that. That's all right. Yeah, you're 17 by now. I'm 17 by now. <laughs> his father, and he's changing lives. And there's a dog that needs to go out. Make it That's all right. <clears throat> Howdy. My name's John Mangum. I'm the author of the book, the novel. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, so what, uh, oh, look, hang on. Sorry. I'm going to hang on right now. Um, can, 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 thank you, and have a good night. God bless. <laughs>